a few things that you can do at Radium, such as how to swap your tokens from one to another, how to provide liquidity in a liquidity pool, and how to use those uh, liquidity pool tokens to farm for some Radium. And then we might uh, touch lightly on staking, the accelerator, the drop zone, the NFTs, um, and then the actual trading interface for Radium. So once again, this is a beginner's uh, introduction to Radium and how to use Radium. Hey there. If you're new here, I'm the Metaverse Explorer and I provide you with the most up-to-date Solana specific content and alpha to increase the size of your portfolio. All totally free. All you gotta do is click that little bell and that little icon. I get my sources from three different places. The Grape Solana Discord channel, join us, have a chat to me. The Solana Grapevine, a daily newsletter providing the best source of information regarding new protocols, rewards, it's a group of passionate people that carefully curate new announcements, new projects to discover and actionable intel for you to experience yourself. You can get the link to this down below. And of course, the Solana Foundation and the ecosystem. Let's get to this episode. Hello again, this is the Metaverse Explorer back again with another Grape Solana Alpha video. This time it's just a beginner's introduction to Radium. So to everyone that doesn't know, Radium is the number one leading uh, DEX decentralized uh, exchange on Solana at the moment. They handle $2.2 billion um, and they're currently the leading in the space. Uh, we're going to have a look at the actual protocol first. We're going to have a look at their backers, uh, who they are, what they provide you. As you can see here, they give you light speed swaps at the next level liquidity and frictionless yield. Um, and this is what it actually looks like when you go and go to the application. Now this is uh, slightly beginner, so I'm not going to be talking very in depth. I'm just going to show you a few things that you can do at Radium, such as how to swap your tokens from one to another, how to provide liquidity in a liquidity pool, and how to use those uh, liquidity pool tokens to farm for some Radium. And then we might uh, touch lightly on staking, the accelerator, the drop zone, the NFTs, um, and then the actual trading interface for Radium. So once again, this is a beginner's uh, introduction to Radium and how to use Radium. Let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is on the top right hand of the screen, click this that says launch app. Once you've launched the application, this is the swap page you will be given. If you already have a phantom wallet, you'll have to connect it in the top right here. I would go ahead and disconnect for you and you can see all the other wallets you can connect with. Everyone recommends Phantom at the moment, they are the best. So once you've connected your wallet, let's do something very, very simple. You have one token and you want to transfer it into another token. Say you have 10 USDC, $10, and you want to buy something, so, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, and you want to buy some Radium tokens. All you have to do is on the swap page, <coughs> Excuse me. Click down here and click USDC. USDC. As you can see, I have 334 USDC. Now, you want to put in here $10. The first little bracket here is how much money you want to use in this transaction and what are you going to get in return. So if you're wanting to look for a specific token, type that in. We can just click on Ray at the moment because this is the Radium token. Okay, click $10 in USDC and it's going to give us 0 0.9148 Radium tokens. And you can see the exchange rate at the bottom here. The slippage tolerance just means how, how, how much your position can be diluted. If, this, if there's not enough funds, if there's not enough money in the actual pool, then you're going to receive less tokens overall. If your slippage is very, very low, your transaction might fail and might not go through. It tells you where your tokens are actually going to be going to. So right now, your USDC is going to go to Solana first, and then it's going to go into Ray. This gives you the lowest slippage and best kind of rate. And it's also going to give you how much minimum you're going to be receiving. The price impact is the difference 
between the market price and the estimate, estimated price due to your trade size. Now this is $10, so this is very, very small. What are we gonna do? You have to set this up, which means it has to create a token account for you. Approve. Once your transaction has been approved, it's made an account for you to receive your Radium tokens. You can go ahead and swap. And click the swap button. So we're going to approve the transaction. It asks you, Phantom is very good and asks you, make sure you trust this application. Now, look at the estimated balance changes. You're going to be getting sold. This is from the account balance. Don't worry about this. You're going to be losing 10 USDC and you're going to be gaining 0.914 Radium. Click approve. And the transaction has been confirmed. That was very, very quick. Now you have 10 USDC before, you have 0.91 Ray at the moment. Let's go ahead and do the exact same thing in the opposite direction. You have radium. Use this little button to swap it around. I have 0.915705 radium. Click on maximum. And if I sell that right now, I'm going to get 9.9765 USDC. So I'm going to swap again. Approve the transaction. And you'll see I will have zero radium very soon. Zero. The transaction's been confirmed. You've been able to transfer money in about three seconds. Well done. Let's look at how to provide liquidity. So the act of providing liquidity basically means at a beginner level is that you have a bunch of tokens and you're going to provide that token, those two tokens for other people to trade against. What this means is that other people will have one token and they want the other. So if you have, if you are in the USDC and Solana pool, someone will come to the protocol and say, hey, I have lots of USDC, can I get some Solana? And then the next person will come and say, hey, I have lots of Solana, can I get some USDC? And you providing liquidity to that pool helps facilitate this trade. And that's basically it. So we're in the add liquidity page. We're on the Solana and USDC pool. What we're going to do is provide liquidity so other people can trade back and forth. Why do you want to do this? Because you accrue some fees. Anyone who transfers their tokens using the liquidity pools has to pay a fee and you get a proportion of that fee. So let's go ahead and try and add something. We have Solana and USDC. I'm going to put in 0.1 Solana and it's going to give me an equal amount of USDC, which is 23. 0.29. Now, there is something important you should know about providing liquidity. When you remove your liquidity, I now have 0.1 sol, I might have less than 0.1 sol, or I might have more than 0.1 sol. This is called impermanent loss, and you should understand it before you provide liquidity. That being said, let's go ahead and supply right now. 0.1 sol, and 23 USDC. Click Supply. And as you can see, we're going to be losing 0.1 SOL and we're going to be getting another token called the SOL USDC token, which is the liquidity token that we're providing. Think of it as your receipt. We're saying, hey, I provide liquidity, this is my receipt. Click Approve. And now you can see your liquidity at the bottom of the page. I already have four pairs that I'm providing liquidity to. Click on the sole USDC and you can see my pool tokens are 0.1 and 23.28. My pool tokens or my receipt is 0.2246. Easy. Now, once you're sitting here in this pool, you'll be collecting the fees. There's one more step we can look at, which is using your receipt and going to Radium and say, hey, I'm providing liquidity for this pool. Do you want to give me a reward? Let's have a look at that. So I provided liquidity for the Radium and USDC pool. 
I have 0.9 radium and 9.96 USDC and my pool tokens or my receipt is 0.812906. Let's go ahead to the farm section. So the farm section is where you can stake your LP tokens or your receipt and earn some token rewards. Go all the way down and look for the pool that you are currently in. There are Radium Serum, Radium Ethereum, Radium USDC, that's our pool. So click on the Radium USDC and we can see here it's got any pending rewards, we don't have any. The total APR, what does this mean? This is the rewards you're going to be receiving. Click, look at the little question mark and it tells you you're going to be receiving 9.2% a year non-compounding on fees. You'll also be receiving Radium at 62.05% non-compounding. And the current uh, market, uh, the current value in this pool is $110 million. Now, you have your receipt. Click on the stake LP tokens. And as you can see, I have 0 0.8129. Click on maximum to stake all your receipt tokens and click confirm. Approve this transaction on the right hand side, which means you're going to be losing 0.812. And very soon, you'll see once you refresh the page, that we have some staked LP tokens, 0.812906. And as you can see, we've already earned some Radium rewards, 0.000001. Congratulations. You can come back in a couple of days or a week or a month and come and collect your rewards. Now because Radium and Serum is super fast and super cheap, you can do this every hour if you want. And that's it for providing liquidity and earning some tokens from your LP tokens. Let's go on to staking the Radiator and the Drop Zone. If you have some Radium tokens and you don't want to be exposed to impermanent loss, you can earn a flat 21.21% on your Radium tokens. You can do this by staking them. As you can see, I have some staking Radium at the moment at 201. I also have some rewards coming, which is 0 0.2258. All you gotta do is stake your Radium tokens in here, and then your rewards will start accruing. I'll show you how to harvest them. You press this harvest button next to the rewards. Harvest. Approve the application because you'll see you're going to be receiving 0 0.2259. Approve that. And that should go through immediately. Now because I have an extra 0 0.22, I want to go ahead and stake that again to earn more rewards. Click on the stake radium. And you can see my balance now is 0 0.2259. Click the maximum and stake that. And now you'll see my staked amount go up very slightly. 201.69, awesome, that's easy. That's the staking application. The Radium Accelerator is a bit more complicated. What this means is that other protocols and other tokens can come to Radium and say, hey, we have lots of tokens, we want to raise some money. For people who give us some tokens, USDC, we can give them in exchange some of our tokens. Some of the previous protocols that have done this are Grape, Star Atlas, the Polis governance token from Star Atlas, Like, which is a social media company, Solrise, which is a financial asset management company, Synthetic Protocol, which is a Synthetics and Derivatives Protocol, Mercurial, which is a Stable Swap Protocol, Media, which is a Decentralized Media Application on Solana. So all of these different protocols come to Grape and ask normal people to give them some, some of their USDC for some of their own tokens. Now to actually qualify for these, they have different categories. They're mostly lotteries and some of them are privately done. This is a bit more complicated, so if you want a specific video on how to participate in the Accelerator, leave a comment down below for me. Let's talk about the Drop Zone NFTs. The Drop Zone specifically is a place for 
other people, other projects to come and offer their NFTs, non-fungible tokens for people to purchase. You can see here the recent ones are the Legends NFT series, the Monks NFTs, Jungle Cats, Soul Army, Playground, Cyber Samurais. And these ones sell at different prices. And you can see there's only 10,000 Legends to be sold, 5,000 Monks to be sold as NFTs. Now Radium does the same thing for their NFTs. Once you are on Radium NFT drop zone, you also get listed onto the Magic Eden NFT marketplace. So it gives you a place to in first initially distribute your NFTs and then a secondary place for you to buy and sell NFTs. So if you've got one that seems really good or you're looking for another specific one, you can come to the Magic Eden, uh, Magic Eden Radium portal and try and collect some other NFTs. And today we have some Monkette Babies and Munchote Club unveiled. Uh, they don't look very good for me. <laughs> All right, so that's just the NFT section. Let's go ahead and talk about the trading interface. So the trading interface is slightly more complicated. We won't go a deep dive into it, but I will explain to you what you're looking at. This interface is the direct order book of Serum and Radium. You get to see on the left hand side what market you want to see. Let's pick one for example. We can look at the Radium and USDC that we just traded into. So you click on that and it will give you the actual chart of the Radium and Serum order book. You can see the price action and you can change the time windows. You can add some candles, you can look at some indicators, you can play around a little bit with it. On the right hand side you can actually see the order book. You can see everyone that's buying and selling in the immediate time you can see everyone right now who sold radium or who bought usdc and you can see the markets moving at the bottom here every couple of seconds this updates and you can see people buying and selling a green is obviously a buy and the red is a sell and you can see their order book just people matching orders back and forth going against each other so whenever you use the radium swap feature you are actually using the order book the swap is just a simplified version of this order book. On the left hand side here, you can put in your own orders at different prices in Radium. So instead of selling one Ray for zero, uh, instead of selling 10 USDC uh, for 0 0.9 Radium, you can put an order to buy uh, 0 0.9 Radium at $5. This is up to you. Bottom left of you is your wallet balances once you've connected. If you've made any trades, you can see any open orders that you have on the market, your history of trading on this market, what balances you have, and any discounts if you're entitled to any. And that's basically the trading interface. As this is a beginner's video, I would recommend you use the swap feature. And you can just use that by clicking on the swap feature at the top. And that's about it for the small radium tutorial. I hope it's been very uh, educational for you. It's a beginners only tutorial um, and we might do an intermediate to advanced tutorial later looking at market AMMIDs and how to identify some of the APIs. That's about it for now guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you do like the content, like and subscribe for me. Thank you very much. Goodbye.